Hello, hello, hello! It's me, Artwork of DR. DJ Kitty, you know your girl. Um, I haven't done one of these yet. I don't, don't really have like a pencil pouch per se, but I've seen a lot of videos saying, what's in my pencil case? Well, this is more of what's in my traveling art kit, basically. Um, I have this bag here. This is like my little traveling bag. It's not really technically an art bag, but I use it as an art bag. It's actually just, uh, I think it's for when you travel, you put like all your makeups, uh, bathroom stuff in it, I think. Um, anyway, I, I don't remember. It was a long time ago when I bought it. But it is a London Sh Soho, New York bag. It's just black and red. And I put a few of my pins that I have collected. Uh, there are some ones from Animes. The little Sprite Dudes. Uh, Totoro, I believe. I don't remember what the cat's name is. I have a Hello Kitty band right here. It's kind of old. I've had it since I was in high school. You can't really see it in the, the lighting I've got going on here. And then I've got this Princess H or something one. Like I said, these two down here are pretty old. I've had them since high school. I got them from Hot Topic. I think they technically both still have the little price tags on them. Let me see if I can. Yeah, they have. This one was $1.75. Doesn't say where it's from, but um, I like I said, I've had the, these two for the longest time. Those four came in a set. They came from a set that I got from uh, my um, like some uh, service that I used to get. You get different stuff in it. Nerd block. Um. I do have a sick cut home today, so if you end up hearing some craziness in the background, that is probably him. He's not really sick sick, he just has pink eye. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so this is my traveling set. Uh, basically, it's got everything and anything I probably need, except for maybe uh, I might add, like, I might grab an extra sketchbook to take with me that did not fit in here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, just to show you guys all the craziness that I have inside. There is this pouch right here, but I don't have anything in this pouch. Like, this is just the, you know, it goes to here. But there's nothing in this pouch, it's just there. You could put something in there. Um, maybe, like a pad of cards, or if you have um, business cards or something like that, you could probably put some in there. So you just unzip, it's got a nice zip. And then you open it. See, this is what makes me think that it's a traveling bathroom bag or something because it has this little hanger. So, like, I don't have anywhere to hang it right now, but you could just hang it on a wall, like, anywhere you want, right in front of you. But as you see, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, so down here, all right, underneath the hangy bit, there's two pouches. One pouch has a mesh, and then one pouch is just the... Thing. There's nothing in this one because if I put something in it, it would ram up against the pencils and uh, markers and things, and I wouldn't be able to close it. Tried it, didn't work. <clears throat> so there's nothing in that pouch. This pouch, however, to start off with, I have my pencil sharpener. This is just a General's All Art red pencil sharpener. It only has one size hole on it. Uh, it works pretty good for the pencils that I do own. Most of my pencils are around the same size, so it works pretty good for all of my pencils. Unless it's a mechanical pencil, then obviously you don't really need one. And then I have my kneaded eraser. I used to have other kinds of erasers, but now mostly I have just a kneaded eraser. I have one inside this bag, and then I have one that I keep at my art desk that's a little bit smaller. This one. It just sits here on my art desk. I do have a two pencil sharpener that sits at my art desk. All right, so we got the pencil sharpener and the eraser. 
from inside here. I do have some blending sticks in here. I have a whole bunch of blending sticks, but I only put two in here. I put this thicker one in, which they call a number four. Um, and it hasn't really been used that much. I don't really use blender sticks all that often anymore. But they're good to have just in case you do find something that you feel like you want to. It just depends on what mood you're in. This is a number one. So I have a four and a one. I have a pencil lead. This is for job, my Java pencils. Uh, 2.0 holder pen refill. Um, it comes with red, blue, and regular pencil lead. They are thicker leads. I have three pencils, so I'll show you guys those when I get to the pencils. They should also be inside this pouch. Uh, let me see. There's two of them. Let me see here. Here we go. Alright, so I have a regular pencil. I have two regular pencils in here. So I have two regular pencils in here. I have a, they're both 2Bs. I really like to use 2Bs. Um, I've gone through a lot of different colorings of pencils, and no matter what brand they are, I seem to really like drawing with the 2B. Um, it doesn't smudge too much. It's just the right consistency. I'm not a professional, like, I don't know all the different terms for all the different kinds of LEDs. I do have a whole kit over here that I'll show you in a minute that has all can, different kinds, but 2Bs, I really, I don't know why, but I've always liked them. I have a Pro Art Pro pencil and 2B, and then I also have a USA General Pencil from Kimberly. Um, like I said, they're just normal ones. This one says graphite drawing since 1889, 2B. So those are my normal pencils. All right. And then I do have three of these mechanical pencils. These are Bar on soon. I don't have. I'm probably not saying it right. B R B A R U N S O N 2.0 Multi 2B Sharp. So this white one is where all the red lead is at, which is confusing. When um, when I got these, it was very confusing because I automatically assumed this black one with the red on it was going to be the two was going to be the red but it's not this white one is the red this one is the regular lead this one also says to be on it to be sharp um you can buy other kinds though and put them in because it gives you the this button right here this little switchy thing this little red piece right here it does turn, so you can get 4B lead, 3B lead, 2HB lead, 2B lead, and you can put them in these pencils. They work fine. And then this blue one with the silver on it, this is the blue lead. The only thing I don't like about these is once they are no longer sharp at the tip, they're pretty blunt, so you can't draw fine lines and things. Sorry about that. So yeah, once you start drawing with them, it's not a really a fine tip anymore. That's the only thing I don't like about the mechanical pencils right there. What else we got in here? Oh. So I've got some, they're not pastel, but they're like drawing chalks. I don't remember the brands or anything, but this one is just like all lead. It's sealed around the base right here, but it is lead. So you can sharpen this and just draw with it itself. It's good for like if you're drawing only in graphite and you're doing shading and all that stuff, you would lay, you know, you could also just sh sh shave it down and use the shavings and spread the shavings around with your, with your blender sticks work really well for that so if you're kind of doing something like that that's really good this is a pro art charcoal it's a medium um, darkness this is also good for big areas I haven't really used it that much it only has a little bit gone and then I have 
These ones say pastel on them. Or they used to. This is a kind of like a brown. Like a sienna or... Um, I don't remember the other name for the brown. Uh, but it's nice. Uh, this is a white. I don't have actually have one of these in black right now. I used to, but I can't find it. So the closest thing I have to that is this one, the charcoal. So that's all that's inside this, that pouch right there. Stick them back in here before we uh, get too much further out. Stick that back in there. Now, the reason why these are in my travel case is because when you travel, it doesn't. your art doesn't have to be exactly the way you do it at home because you can also bring them home and redo them later on. So, um, this is my Draftmore Artist Tiles 400 series. Uh, they're like little square pieces of paper. There are supposed to be 70 in here. The reason why it's in my travel bag is because it's small, it fits, but if I want to take an extra book, like an extra sketchbook or anything like that, I can just grab one and carry it or put it in another big bag or something, But because this bag actually goes inside of another bag normally. Like I'll put it in a big bag and I'll put the sketchbook next to it inside the bag. Um, normally all I go to is my mother-in-law's house or to the laundromat, and so I just throw this in my laundry bag with my laundry soap and put an extra sketchbook in there voila so like these are just sketches i've done on while out and about they're nothing fancy they're just you know things to do i've even let my daughter draw in here this is my daughter's drawing right there oh sorry i'm getting over being sick right now <clears throat> so you just take a little art book with you or you can carry one outside of the bag but i like to have one in my bag uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this pouch. Um, I like to do a lot of mixed media things, so I do have colored pencils and markers. I have this. Um, it is a Spectra, Spectrum Noir Sparkle Brush. Mark, like It's like a liquid. It has sparkles in it. I, this one hasn't even been used. I have three of these. So I don't think I've really used that one yet. All right, so in this small pouch here, I have all these different markers. Most of these markers are skin tone markers, except for my online ones, because the set of markers that I have in here don't really have a lot of skin tone colors. So I do have my Fiber Castell ones. These are not my ideal, like skin tone palette but I do use these um, occasionally especially if I'm traveling around um, we've got cinnamon medium skin tone light skin it says then we have a medium flesh a light flesh and an ivory and then from one of my original marker sets I still have this uh, Letteris Pro Permanent Twin Tip Pro Marker. This was from an anime set. This is also a color ivory. Um, so I use those for my skin tones. And then I also have in here some really fun pens. We've got a Jelly Roll. This is a yellow slash gold pen. To do like sparkles and uh, stars and things like that in your skies. Got this <laughs> Veer color. It's like a mixed color though. It's got like pinks and yellows and oranges and purples and greens. Kind of has just something to like to add some color in. Then we do have a white jelly roll. Then I just have a regular pen. Um, sometimes I like to just sketch with pen. So I have a regular just pen for that. Then I have some outlining pens. I have a sh Sharpie pen. This is a fine one. Use these as fine liners sometimes to outline. And then for pro art, I also have some of them too. This one is a 
zero slash eight mm. So those also go in the pouch. I have more of those pro ones on this in this pouch right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you other things that I have in the kit. We have this watercolor set here. I do have a Koi watercolor travel set. Uh, that I originally had been carrying around with me, but then I added the markers and stuff So this doesn't really fit in here anymore with the markers and the paper But if you didn't want to have the paper in there, you could probably put this in there if you wanted um, I like the travel one because it has this little thing for your finger. You just stick it on your finger and You can use it or you can put it on a table and use it all up like this It comes with a water brush, but the water brush is not in here because it's with my other stuff. But if I was going to take it with me, it, I'd put the water brush back in there. So we have my Rebus Reeves since I, uh, this is like one of the first ones I had. It's just like a one I would probably say even kids could use. Pretty used up. I use a lot of white. Not like the best watercolor. But I do like to have some with me just in case I feel like I want to water paint, like watercolor paint. So here are some, another tin. It's full of artist premium sketching pencils. There's six pencils in here, high quality graphite, soft grades for sketch work. So you just open it up. And it's got all different kinds of leads in here. We got from 2B to 9B. So we have 2B, 3B, 4B, 6B, 8B, and 9B. The 9B is almost uh, like it's darker. I've used it a few times. As you can tell, the 9B and the 2B and the 3B have been mostly used in this set. It's a really good set to carry around with you. And uh, so I carry one of those inside this travel set. So like I was saying before, I do have some other lining brushes or pins in here stashed away with the colored pencils. So I'm going to show you guys those before I show you the brushes and things that I carry with me. So I like to have silver things with me for, you know, different things. And this pen right here is a Suzaki. I am horrible at names. I'm so sorry. I'm probably butchering these. This is a pin touch silver one. You just shake it up and press down the little nodule. Gives you some really cool. It says EF on the top here. I don't know why, but it does. Um, it says do not remove this seal. Not really sure why it says that, but I haven't. But yeah, it shapes. Um, at the the stuff I keep at home, I don't always use the same things that I take on the road with me. I take my cheaper stuff on the road with me so I don't lose, in case I lose them, I'm not completely sad about it. So here's another one of these fine liner ones. This is a brown, has a different kind of tip, but so um, the tip's a little different. It's not like a fine tip or anything like that. This is a 02mm. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. And then we have a black one in the zero two so it has the same tip as the other one then we have a zero one mm same tip as similar tip it's not exactly the same as the two then we have this gray one which is more of a brush because it has this little brush symbol here it doesn't really have anything else but so if you want to add a little shadow with your gray um, I also have one in black, just like a, it's just like a kind of like a regular marker. And then we have one, another one. So those are like ones that I would say I use for outlines and things like that. And then I have another sparkly brush pin over here. Not really a brush. It says twinkling like stars, turquoise, at you specca. Uh, I got this from Michael's. Um, they have some weird stuff. Or no, I didn't get this from Michael's. This came with my turquoise set of my Copics. That's right. 
sorry. It says it's a water-based pigment ink, acid-free, non-toxic, keep flat, do not drop, and shake. Replace cap after use. It is a two marker co product. So I like to put little sparkles and eyes and things. So that's why I have those. Okay. So since I have my watercolors with me, I figured I'd put some smaller brushes in there for that. So I have I don't have any like fine detailed brushes, but this is I have just like this one. It doesn't have a number or anything, but it's like a flat one, and it can get pretty small, especially if I don't wet it down too much. I can get it pretty small. Then we have this one. It is a Lauk Ronell of size four. And then I have a one. This one, I don't know what the name of this one is, but I've had these ones for a while. Most of these are just really cheap brushes. Um, and then I got some brushes with my Perfect Pearls from Ranger. You're supposed to use these with the uh, perlettes that I got. You know, it's like powder and it's all shiny and stuff. You guys have seen me use it before if you've watched my other videos. Um, but I really don't like to use these brushes for that because they get, the stuff gets stuck inside the bristles. But this is like a good brush that you can use for the background layer of something. And then here's a smaller brush for that as well. So they get this big flat one. And then this one, I haven't really used it yet. That's why it still has a little plastic cap on it. And, oh, there's another brush in there. I was wondering. I thought there was another one in here. So here's another brush. This one has been really used a lot. Um, this is a number two round brush. Don't know the name because it's pretty much gone. So those are all the brushes that I keep for the watercolor. And here is a Sanford... Dyson Ebony Jet Black Extra Smooth 14420. It's another really good drawing pencil. It's uh, really, really dark. It's almost black instead of like a regular charcoal, or not charcoal, but a regular graphite. It's kind of almost black. Nope, that's not. There. So. <clears throat> I do have water, not watercolors, but I have colored pencils in the here. These are not very expensive ones. These are just really cheap watercolor. <laughs> Why do I keep saying watercolor? They're just colored pencils. These are just Artist Loft colored pencils. Have pretty good different shades in them. Uh, they even have a little bit of metallics going in there. There's some silver and some gold in here as well. Um, I like to have a bunch of different mediums because I I am a mixed media artist. I I don't stick with one kind of medium over another. I am branching out and practicing other things. But like I said, I really don't like to travel with all of these different kinds of things. I feel like um, some things are okay to travel with and other things are just too hard to travel with. So I don't really travel that much with like my acrylic paints or my oil paints or my ink, Bombay India inks or anything like that. I keep them at home. Mm -mm. Stick this one back in there. And then other than that, the markers that I keep in here, I'm not gonna take them all out, but I'll take like two out. These are my fine color markers. They're an alcohol-based marker. They have two tips. They have a fine tip. And then they have a chisel tip. <coughs> the smell on these ones are pretty strong. Um, they have colors on the bottom on each of the tips, but they don't necessarily have a name to each one, but they do a color number. Um... I hear that they are refillable. You can order replacement markers. I have not personally. I have two sets of these. One set is in this travel set, and then one is in another bag that I have um, just extra markers in. Originally, I'd accidentally, I thought I was buying two separate sets, like two different sets, and it turned out to be the same set. So I have two sets of them. They're the, like some of the markers that I first started out with because I was looking for something cheaper than Copics. 
and they work pretty well in a pinch so I use them as my travel my travel markers so yeah that is what I keep in here um, it is not that hard to seal back up everything it goes back back in slide our paper back in here and like I said you don't have to put the paper in there um, I just like to have some kind of paper in here so if I don't want to take an extra sketchbook with me like say I'm going somewhere and then there's not a lot of space or I'm gonna be drawing in my car or something like that I just take this and do small sketches in here so I put the pins on the sides one on each side put the little hook back down and it looks like it's not gonna close but it will close so and it goes like this I tilt it up and I grab up here and voila there we go that is what's inside there you can like I said I would you can grab another sketchbook take it with you bigger ones than this um, if you want most of the time when I travel I either take this Canson mixed media book or I have this artist loft canvas sketchbook um, that I take with me because um, I can do all kinds of different mediums in there the paper actually holds up really well so that's the one I normally travel with if I travel like I said I'm not really a traveling artist I don't go to conventions or anything like that uh, not that famous or anything I am have been doing art my whole life but it doesn't mean that you are known all over the place just because you do artwork um, so if you want to make a smaller set it just depends on what you use if you like to dabble like I do I like to dabble with all different kinds of art supplies so I make sure I have all kinds of different stuff in my to-go set um, if you want to have just a regular pencil pouch you can put a few colored pencils in there that you like a few markers that you like uh, a few pencils that you like and a few outliners that you like just throw a little bit of each thing in there so that you have something to sketch with where you're on or you can get a bigger bag and put everything that you're probably going to need for a simple sketch or something it's really up to you and how you travel I hope you guys like to see what was inside my to-go bag and uh, yeah let's just hopefully you guys have if you haven't I hope that you do though hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so that you guys will be notified every time I make a new video because if you don't it's gonna make me really sad <laughs> um, I really hope that you do though because I really do like hearing from you guys I love when you guys leave me cool little comments and I love seeing that someone has liked a video of mine I don't make a lot of videos every week but I'm trying to do more and more videos just depends on my day or my week or if I'm feeling good or not if I have a sick kid home or not things like that but I'm trying really hard to make more videos for you guys and make better content so I really 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 hope that you guys hit that subscribe button and that you hit the bell button don't forget to follow me on my other social medias I have Twitter and I have Instagram and I have Facebook artwork of DR or DJ Kitty Ruby or you can do both um, just look me up alright guys I love you guys so much thank you guys for checking out my videos and I will see you another time keep it creative